So the Cats fall 2-0 to the Dallas Stars last night as they just came out flat on a back-to-back after losing to Minnesota. They come out flat in this game. Uh, Matoya, I thought, played really good. He, gave, he was shaking in the beginning. We gave up another shorthanded goal, and then he gave up another goal. Dallas went up 2-0, and they held on to the lead. Now, there are two things, though, that I really wanted to get into besides the game, because, again, there's really not much else to talk about in this game. The first one is this whole Bergenheim issue with Gallant chewing, pretty much outing him in front of the media of how he did not give 100% in the game, uh, and he was being scratched because of that. My opinion is maybe Gallant shouldn't have done that. Maybe he, if he really felt that he had an issue with Bergenheim, he should have brought it to him man-to-man, amano amano. But he didn't decide to bring out the media, which Bergenheim is not too thrilled about. And I, honestly, I think it brings, it destroys the chemistry, in my opinion. It may not, but it, it, especially for these young guys to see the coach do that, I think can have a negative impact on the locker room. So we're going to have to pay attention to that, see how that all plays out, and hopefully there is no ramifications with that. The second issue that happened during the game was Kulikov's low hit on Sagan, which he ended up getting he ended up getting injured. Sagan, who I think is now out three to six weeks, um, Kulikov ended up getting a game misconduct, was tossed from the game. Dallas got a five minute power play late in the third, which pretty much squashed any chance for us to come back. Now a lot of people said it was a clean hit, uh, and I I am on the side where. He went low. Okay, yeah, it's a hip check, but he he went pretty low at, um, at Sagan and hit him in the knees. And I think the game of Tondok was rightfully given out. Uh, again, he is injured, and now he is getting a hearing for that on Monday morning. A phone call just got the alert on my phone that he is he wavered it, and so he will be getting that phone call on Monday with the player safety again. Possible suspension coming up with that. Now, a lot of people think, oh, well, it was a clean hit. It was a clean hit. I I am going on the side that was not that clean of a hit. And people are going to be like, well, if, if they're doing against the Panthers, how come they haven't called the stuff against that have happened to the Panthers, like Branson getting his gang sticked in a groin or um, Kopetsky's gang nailed by Nash uh, a season or two ago? And um, Perry's hit on y- Yandel nailed him. Nothing. <sighs> I-, I wish I knew, guys. I-, I really wish I had the answer to that one. Uh, they should have again gone suspended too, but they didn't. And because uh, in the end, I think the reason why is because he was a star player. That's why Kulikov is possibly going to get suspended for that. Besides the low hit and the injury to him, so. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down below. I'm going to close this out. When this posts up on the Sunshine Skate, like I said, I work with them now. It will be tomorrow in which we play St. Louis at home. Really need that win because after this game against the St. Louis Blues, we head up on a five-game road trip. We make that Canada swing where we play Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, and then we'll play Pittsburgh and then play the first of a back-to-back against Chicago in Chicago, then we go home and have a very extensive uh, seven-game road trip. And three of those games, I will be uh, I cannot wait. It has been miserable up here. I know I complain a lot about the snow up here, but it's, again, this has just been unprecedented what has happened up here with this snow. With nothing we have ever experienced in modern time. And once that, and it will probably have broken it by the time some of you see this, but what we have gone alone in this month. Okay, if we get at least 10.3 inches from the storm, we're getting to uh, Sunday, Saturday night going into Sunday. It will break, be the most snow, more snow than Chicago has ever gotten in any of its winters ever. And we're going to get that just in February. So this tells you how crazy this winter has been for us up here. So, but anyways. Going to leave. I will see you guys after the St. Louis game. Hopefully a win. We really need it. We're still four points behind the Bruins. 
And we need to get these wins. We've got to get these points.